That's it, I guess. So I use this Hubslot config, um, which is mostly default. But I use some scripts to manage my workflow. For example, this is just a Rosetta script to manage my monitors because the ports are always changing. Uh, well, this is unrelated though. Uh, then I used this Polkit Gnome authentication because I used to use Gnome as well. Now I don't. Um, then I have this script to give a prompt before exiting uh, Hubsloft. Uh, then this is a script that I use which is a Tesseract script to get uh, text from the screen to my clipboard. So if I do selection of this text and uh, then this text will be copied to my clipboard. So here this is uh, pretty cool. Uh, then I have this scratchpad by us. So I use scratchpad as well. So for example, this is a squared scratch pad, um, this is a notification, then I have this wide scratch pad as well. They are single, uh, they are basically associated with, associated with one single tag, but uh, that's my workflow, if you can give it another tag to have two uh, separate scratch pads. Um, this, this scratch pad script is available on the website. So let me show you. Scripts. Oh fuck. So this is the scratch pad script. So I have basically customized it a little bit and uh, gave them an argument as a tag name and uh, what dimension of scratch pad I want. I can get this dimension using slope command. So if I want a scratch pad of this size, then I can give this size to my scratch pad. But uh, I only use two types of scratch pads, so I don't want slope anymore. Then I use a script that it is move to monitor. So basically to move my current client, current window to my second monitor. To This way I don't have to remember what tag that I, I am using in my monitor, so I can just give it uh, I can just send it in just one command. I don't have to remember what tag I'm using. Okay, so I have this uh, script app spawn as well. So what it does is basically, uh, so it basically takes an uh, argument, and uh, I I know what what type of class uh, of this command is. So I I can give it a rule. For example, this application will only open on my current tag regardless if I change or switch to some other tag as well uh, this why I don't, I don't have to wait for the uh, application to open up before doing some other tasks then I have some key bindings also this is a max layout uh, script that I use uh, 
uh, which basically like toggles between a max layout and a grid layout so if I remove all this and uh, then I can just uh, press super M to make a maximum max layout and again to make it a grid layout I don't use it that much that's why I have this usually turned off so yeah um, then I have this I use screenshot also use this volume script to give notification and whenever I change volume using shortcuts uh, also this is also copied from somewhere from internet uh, and I use pap papyrus icons as well whatever you call it uh, then I have this gap change script so uh, if I supply a negative, a negative minus sign then I am, it means that I want to decrease the gap and uh, it should not be less than 0 I don't want negative gap and otherwise I, it means that I am going to increase the size of the gaps in terms of focusing layout things um, these are themes which I don't use this is default by the way and uh, these are all the tag and these are the tag names I don't change it I like it as it is then I have some rules for example calculator always is a floating window power control is a floating window log sec log sec to always open in tag 2 and uh, this is a theme firewall so to this I change some colors of the frames and the borders and uh, I also change colors of the tabs these these colors and uh, killing down set just to reload it uh, then I have this polybar which is from cabin space shout out to him also I love this song from have a nice life so have a nice life guys bye